What's going on everybody at 84 here, Wicked Explorers. I'm here in Charlestown, Massachusetts. It's a uh, area of Boston here and we're under the famous Tobin Bridge, but we're not doing the Tobin Bridge on this video. We are actually gonna go over down the street to a new project that they just started out uh, working on. Um, probably, I'd say about a month ago. We're gonna check out the progress on that. It is actually at the housing uh, area, the projects if you will in Charlestown. Um, they're starting to knock them down and they're in the process of doing this huge redevelopment uh, project, if you will, that's been on the books for a while. Um, and basically what it's gonna do is gonna get rid of some of these older brick buildings and um, make it more of like a mixed use. So there's gonna be some low income, there's gonna be some mix, there's gonna be some retail. It's basically to kind of fluff the area, make it a little pretty, I guess you could say. Um, historically, projects in general always sometimes have a bad rep, There's a lot of crime sometimes. Not all the places, but in this particular project, there's a lot of trouble here. And I think the idea of Boston is because we're so close to literally the water right there, is that they kind of want to kind of bring it up a little bit, you know, and also be able to provide housing and provide uh, you know, shops and restaurants and stuff for the neighborhood. So we're actually gonna take a walk over there. They already started to knock a few of the buildings down. That's the ones I wanna check out, check out the progress in that. Um, it's a slow process, little by little they're doing it, but um, I'll show you right here in the video what their plan is. And it's basically, um, I don't know, eight blocks or so that they're gonna kind of just knock down and basically, um, just make it make it make it nice i guess so uh let's go check out some of the projects right now and then um see what they're actually knocking down down the street all right so we're on medford street right now and here's some of the buildings right there these ones are still occupied they haven't um got anyone out there's out of these buildings yet but it's in the plans of eventually moving people little by little um next block over you kind of already see the construction equipment it's basically where they're uh, starting to knock some stuff down over there. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, Charlestown, basically, uh, you've seen the movie The Town? It's kind of where this uh, moved to place, basically. And uh, kind of in this area was uh, some of the um, filming of the town. And you can actually see some of these buildings in there too, as well. Uh, Boston had just recently did something similar to this in East Boston, where they um, started taking down some of their old projects and they start building new projects or a new i should say new project new mixed use house and stuff like that so that's basically what the norm over here so now we can actually see the guys actively at work on the site right now So these particular buildings were actually built in 1940. So they're approaching um, 85 years old at this point. And obviously there's been some, you know, uh, modifications done to them over time. But for the most part, the buildings maintain the same. And I'm kind of walking by some of the buildings that haven't been um, evicted yet, I guess you could say is the word, or uh, have people to live there be moved. But this typically was, back in the day, a pretty dangerous neighborhood to be walking through at night. Um, but um, these buildings over here that they're actually taking down right now have been abandoned for some quite some time right now. They actually uh, basically had them all boarded up for the last like six months or so. So it's uh, they finally got them all empty and they got the okay to move on to the project. So it's probably hot here to be over all the equipment, but uh, you can see another view over here. These are some of the buildings before they take it down, they actually gathered them all up.
and as you can see, the building's mostly concrete and brick. Um, and that's about it. There's some sheetrock inside there too, but for the most part, they were very cheaply made, very quickly made, and not very efficient um, in the modern uh, style of design, but they were uh, places for people to live, and they provide houses for people that you can necessarily afford um, houses. So if they did its job, and it got 85 years out of it, so I guess it's pretty good, I guess. Now, to avoid dust, you know anything about construction, they typically spray down these sites, especially ones with a lot of plaster and concrete to keep the dust levels down a little bit. And uh, that's pretty what we're doing right now. You can actually see into the building, it's actually kind of cool. You can see there are multiple bedroom units. You can kind of see where everything was, but it's amazingly no wood, all concrete, and you know, rebar and stuff like this. And some of the uh, aluminum you see right there was probably for the casings for the windows and stuff, and some of the uh, you know, HVAC and stuff like that, but for the most part, it was just basically concrete brick and uh, sheetrock inside. And I would imagine that that sheetrock wasn't there back uh, when they built this thing probably uh, so many years ago, 85 years ago. It was probably just concrete walls, to be honest with you. It's very Soviet style of construction, which is typical of a lot of housing projects, especially in the Boston area. Uh, but the newer buildings are not as strong or as basically uh, built uh, to last as these buildings were, but these things could survive a bomb. These are like fall shell type buildings. Now, typically before they start a project like this, they usually go inside, they take out um, you know, some of the cabinets and stuff like that. They usually get all the precious metals out, so any heating elements, any, any copper, any stuff they could reuse and bring down and recycle. Um, and then once that's done, you know, they took the, some of the doors down. The doors are probably metal, so they probably recycled those, I would imagine. Glass was obviously taken out to prevent, you know, any injuries and stuff like that happened. And then basically what happens is they just start knocking everything down. So you can actually see the tile. I can't really see it, but you can see the tile inside the old bathroom. Um, and you can tell these things were, these things were paid to last. I mean, it's amazing how uh, strong these things were just for housing and stuff. It's gonna be nothing compared to what's going there, I guarantee that. The new construction from the renderings look like it's gonna be typical uh, wood frame construction, very fast, very uh, efficient, um, not as strong and not as durable as these, and not as long last. I mean, these buildings last 85 years, and they could probably last another 85 years without even any maintaining. But um, basically where I'm um, facing right here, all this back here behind me is next to go down and what we see on the other street over there. So uh, little by little as they can move the residents out of these, um, these apartments into new places, um, they're going to start knocking down. So this is the first one and uh, I'm assuming they're going to start construction as soon as this is leveled and then start moving on to the other uh, buildings that they plan on taking down um, little by little as they can, uh, you know. The important part is putting these people whose, whose homes these are uh, find them new homes, and that's the important part because you can't just kick someone out and not put them somewhere, right? So, um, I would hope the city's doing a, a good job of doing that, but um, I don't know the details of it. But I'm actually gonna cut down here, this actually looks like a cool little area. I probably get some video. So if you do plan on coming down and checking this out before they near or tear it all down, this is uh, off of Medford Street um, near uh, Charleston High School. Um, obviously, these buildings are abandoned. You don't want to trespass, so just do your best. I'm, I don't think I'm trespassing right now. This looks like an active pathway, so I think I'm all right. There's fencing over here, so but you'll be able to see inside and actually see inside some of these units. Um, still the fixtures and stuff in there they haven't quite taken out yet. Some of the stuff they won't. They just knock it down and it all goes to a wasteland anyway, so... but. Um, 
all this is going to be gone pretty soon so uh if you're interested in stuff like this or you live in the boston area check this out uh this is going to be a process probably the last next couple of years so little by little it'll be taken down and building up so let's see if i can get any views inside some of these buildings and as you notice the uh glass is all taken out you know they uh they put up some you know drop cloths and stuff to prevent some of the dust and stuff from going into the rest of the neighborhood obviously protecting the trees from any construction stuff of that nature um you know they got to do their best to kind of maintain everything but you can kind of see inside it's zoomed in pretty good but you can still see the cabinets in the kitchen of one of the buildings which is pretty cool um and it's like kind of nice seeing a building kind of taking a bite from the outside because you can kind of see how the building you know kind of looks as if you were like rendering it in that kind of a section but uh there's one of the stairwells right there so yeah so i was right the metal doors so those are all probably taken out and recycled So there you go. That's what the process is so far for the uh, Bunker Hill uh, the redevelopment uh, public housing project here. Um, judging by the speed they're working on today is Wednesday at the time of this uh, video. They'll probably have this thing uh, torn down by, I would say, at least next Wednesday at this rate. They're doing a pretty good chunk. They've actually made a lot of progress since yesterday, uh, last time I was uh, checking this place out. But um, like I said, just, we're gonna come check it out. Just be careful. It is an active construction site. Um, no trespass or anything like that. And uh, if you like this video, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about this project. And uh, leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later on another update. We'll probably uh, come back here in about, I don't know, we'll probably come back here in a few, maybe a month or so once they get everything taken down, they start new stuff, and they uh, maybe even when they start constructing, we'll be see how it's going so far. So thank you guys for watching. You guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and click the alarm so wherever you get notification we get new ones see you later bye